Here are five things that Microsoft got wrong with the Surface Laptop Go 2. The brand new ultra portable 560 pound laptop which launched this month here in the UK. Now, let me start off by saying that I absolutely love this thing. So it was really hard to find five things wrong with it. At best, these are some of my finest nitpicks. So here we go. The camera is a 720p webcam, which supports Windows Hello, and that's great, but given how much time we spend on video calls, I would have hoped for at least a 1080p webcam. I mean, the camera does a great job of working in challenging lighting conditions, but still, the overall image quality isn't great. It's really quite grainy. The speakers are nice and loud, but what I would say is that they're designed for people who are gonna be using the device for meetings and conferences. I say that because the overall range is not great. There's hardly any bass in here, and so if you're gonna be watching movies, or listening to music, you're going to quickly notice that the sound is quite flat. There's no notch. No, no, not that notch. There's no notch right here, which makes the Surface Laptop go a little bit awkward to open, especially if it's flat on the table. There is a small lip just here on the edge, which I think is supposed to give you something to grip onto, but it's definitely awkward. Despite the fact that you can buy an iFixit kit for this device and Microsoft have published a service guide, it's still not exactly friendly to service common parts like the memory and the SSD. Well, you can't change the memory at all, so there's that. But even the SSD, you have to remove these non-skid feet, which apparently you can't reuse. Apparently they'll be stretched out of shape and must be replaced. Then you have to remove the aluminum chassis on the base, as well as the plastic base, just to get to the SSD. That's seven screws, 20 snap points, which all need to be carefully pried open, disconnecting two ribbon cables, and finally, you're inside. The irony being that it's a standard M.2 drive, which just pops in and out with one screw. I mean, why can't there just be an access panel on the back? Lastly, I mean, I'm running out of ideas, but build quality, I, I guess? I mean, the keyboard and the trackpad do flex a bit when you press harder and the trackpad click feels a little bit cheap, but honestly, I'm, I'm definitely running out of things. I'm just in love with this thing. Stop watching this, go and buy one.